What we're really worried about is, um, is what happens next year. The drought emergency in Utah continues to impact us all in a number of ways. Today, Governor Spencer Cox spoke about what happens if the drought stretches on and what they're trying to do about it. Fox 13's Ben Winslow is on Capitol Hill with more. The governor says as bad as the drought is this year, he's even more worried about next year. We're trending in a positive direction, but that's only because people are vigilant and have made actual changes in their in their behaviors. As Utah's drought emergency continues, Governor Spencer Cox is urging people to keep cutting back on outdoor water use. Local water districts say many are listening and it's helping. But the latest data shows the state continues to get hit hard from drought and a warmer climate. Utah has exhausted its runoff supply and is now dipping into reservoir storage. We do have enough storage capacity in the state to get through this year. If we have another year like this one, that's where things get especially dicey. And so we, we are contemplating, Ben, um, longer term changes. Fox 13 first reported last month state officials were making plans for a worst case scenario. It includes prioritizing drinking and sanitization water and shutting off outdoor use. Policy changes would include incentives to get people to ditch their lawns for xeriscaping, blocking water hogging grasses from being installed in new developments, and getting agriculture producers to switch to more water wise methods. The state is also exploring ways to protect the Great Salt Lake. It's three inches from hitting a historic low. That's bad because it would mean less snow in the winter and more air quality problems. It's really impossible to overstate just how serious the situation is. Representative Timothy Hawks is planning legislation to help protect the Great Salt Lake. The good news is that the conversation today is so much better than the conversation, let's say, five or ten years ago, when really any water that made it to the lake was considered wasted. The governor signaled his support. We desperately want to avoid, you know, 20 or 30 years from now, some sort of ecological disaster, and that's why we're taking proactive steps right now. And there's still fire danger in the state. The governor says July through September is the worst period for wildfires. He's once again urging Utahns to cut back on using personal fireworks for the upcoming Pioneer Day holiday. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.